Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Game Theory, the only podcast where we're the judges. My name is Josh. We're not Game Theory. We're the judges. And my name is Rick. And my name is Christian. And, and we that- are the, the judges. Internet. I feel like that's a halfway decent Matthew Patrick. I don't know who that is or what that podcast is, but like... It's a YouTube show. Sure. Um, but well, this... not sure. <laughs> it is. It's a very huge, successful YouTube channel. Okay. Well, anyway, tell them what we do. Just straight into it? We don't just podcast on this podcast. We also open mail on this yes. podcast. That's right. And I didn't pre-open, so now you get to see me fumble around with the box. <sighs> Uh, who are Ooh. you, Aurora? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm inadequate in the bedroom with my fingers. I liked it. Did you like that, Emo Joseph? How this is going to be I... the loudest package in the world. I, I really got to keep a knife in here. It's like the opposite <laughs> of ASMR going on over there. Just use that the end of the hammer. You're that would be so much easier than a off. fucking nail. Oh my god, Joshua. Do we remember what the red red's boo? Air horn? Another red. Second air horn? Air horn, but it's slowed down by 2% like Emo Joseph is. Good joke. I liked it. Why is it slowed down? I don't know what I did to fuck that up. It's really not. Yo, that's it, not as vo- that's not what he sounds we like. We are gonna redo the intro because I don't want all of this in here. I guess okay. I could just cut all of it out. I mean, we can redo the intro. I wasn't a fan of it, so I, I thought it was a really good intro. <laughs> if we're redoing it, we're I'm redoing the bit. But don't worry, all this will be cut out. Listeners, if you're hearing this, then someone made a grave mistake. If if it's <laughs> in there. Or if we redo it, I can't. I oh man, I do. I got something to say. <laughs> Guess what? I thought of a joke. Now that we're three minutes into opening a box, I've thought of it. Welcome to the judgiest place on the internet. My name's Josh. My name is Rick. And my name is Christian. And, and we, we are the judges. I don't like that voice. That, that wasn't is... just any intro. That was the pod intro. Because he, he goes, that's not a theory. But anyways, that's just an intro. The podcast intro. Thanks for watching. I hated it. Has anybody ever thought... <laughs> Eric, would you like to read this very long How note? Cute. Oh, yes. It is. Uh, oh, we're doing mail. This is the second intro we've done because <laughs> oh. it took me a fort year. <laughs> yeah, two decades to open this bitch. And now it's open. So here's a little thing sent from a listener, of course. I love the yellow ribbon. There's so much favorite stuff. Favorite color. If you guys would like to uh, send us something, how about you ship oh, it on oh. over to this? Hang on. There's, Did you ever think about that? There's three here. I don't know what to start with. P.O. Box 58, out of Illinois, oh, 61350. One that one's very cute. The Judges. How about that? Okay. Lots of notes. Do you think they go in order? All Law right. and order. <laughs> so this is... SVU. This says, hi, judges. Hello. My name is Piss Baby, age 18. Nice. And I love you guys. Working Sunday nights is my favorite because I know when I get home, it'll be about time for you all to upload the new episode. Ooh, sorry Second to break shift. it to you. Yeah, we're, we're changing it to Tuesdays. Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching the 100th episode as I write this. You all look so dapper. Hell yeah. I appreciate you guys a lot. And you make me so happy. Thanks for making me laugh. You're welcome. Thanks for listening. Erica and Christian. Oh. Now I'm listening. I'm tuning out. (laughs) Congratulations on baby Judgy. I'm super excited for him to take over the pod. We'll finally be getting some real hot takes. 
I wanted to send you guys something for the baby, but I can't make anything. So I asked my best friend Willow to make this. She put lots of love into it and is excited to see a reaction on the podcast. Thank you again for all you do. And I'm excited to see what the future has in store for the judges. Love. Piss baby. Well, she puts her name. But then up there, she says piss baby age 18. So. I think piss baby is their gender. Mm. Is that ah, the joke? Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, Maddie, well, piss baby 18. Their pronouns are piss baby. Okay. Well, her, their name is Maddie. Piss m- so, name is but Maddie. Yes. Love Maddie and Willow <laughs> and Stu because they added a baby judgy sketch. Thanks. Stu. Also, this letter was from 5 9. So we're, re- we're reading this on June 6, 17. On June 17th. And this is going to air on July 17th. Uh, was it three. Four weeks after eight, 28. That is so <laughs> cute. That this is so fucking so, cute. So adorable. Oh, fuck me. That's so cute. Show the camera, please. You will not defeat me. Inter- that's that's threatening aura coming from your baby. That's kind of the aura we're expecting him to give off. Harry baby. That's a very good uh, picture. That's so cute. Very good drawing. All right. Open her up. What was the What was the baby's name? The person that drew the baby? Stu? Is that what they called it? Yeah. Yes. What is, what's the last one? Care instructions. Oh, oh cool. Well, there's one for each year, bitch asses. What? Christian Richard. Here we go. Oh, there's only the two. <laughs> yeah, I don't get one. Look at Oh, look at that. Nice little crocheted carrot. Nice look little crocheted carrot, carrot, carrot top. Little baby hats. Are those different sizes for as they get bigger? <laughs> oh, and a little, uh, what's that called? A swaddle? A little carrot swaddle for the little shitlord? My apologies, ma'am. I almost went deaf. I don't think the hat's for you. What? I mean, it fits. Christian, you like, like the funniest prop comic from the 2000s. So this is like a little carrot body. Dimitri Martin. And... I'm going to put the baby in it, and I'm going to have him hold the carrot, and then he's got a little carrot top hat. It's very cute. <laughs> Thank you Be so cute. much to so your friends for sending that in. Thank you. Be cute. Love that for us. That is a thick fucking carrot. Very thick. That I think that is meant for one of you guys. I don't think that thick one was meant for the, the baby. Is that like washing instructions? Yeah. As far as washing the carrot... Uh, don't hand washing would probably be best but it should be fine if you put it in the washer just wash them by themselves and don't put them in the dryer i threw in an extra gift for mama judgy i hope you like them i mean i consider myself my this is a mama carrot i'm the mama of the pod josh is daddy and i'm mama that's true this is all fabulous you guys are the best we have the best listeners and speaking of the best listeners, why don't you head on over to Apple Podcasts, leave us a five-star review. If you cannot support us monetarily, leaving a five-star review on Apple or on Spotify, you can do the five stars as well. But it really helps us. It doesn't cost you a dime. Just like this person who Just left a, little time. a five-star review that says, this is from Heck and Luke, good pod. Good pod. I liked it. Hell yeah. Thank you. But if you do want to support us monetarily, head on over to patreon.com slash judgespod, J-U-D-G-I-E-S. Give us $1, access to the Discord, ad-free episodes for life. Or you can give us 5 and get ad-free episodes for wife and bonus episodes. And, and hey, maybe, maybe go over to go the over Discord, Discord, Discord and, and you make a friend friends. for life. That's true. We got a lot of friends happening in Discord. I don't like it, but hey. I love it. For it. I love the Discord. I don't go on there very often because I get overwhelmed with how much I've missed because... I don't go on there very often. A lot often. of judges lore you got to catch up. Well, not even judges lore. A lot of Discord lore you got to catch up. You got to go to every channel. Yeah. A lot of lore going on. But there isn't just lore in our Discord. There's also lore on this podcast. And what that entails is us finding little stories to go out and laugh at them and judge them. And sometimes Erica is the one reading and doing most of the judging. If I can be honest, Erica, you kind of judge a lot. If you were a 90s based rapper, you'd be Sir Judge a lot. Can I say that? No, you may not. Okay, then I you take it can, back. You can, but I wish you didn't. I, I take it back. This first story um, was a screenshot sent to me on Instagram. And it is screenshots from Reddit, r slash 
r slash relationship underscore advice. Love it. My wife has been lying to me about having seizures for the past one and a half years. Okay. That love always a good story with uh, lying about medical necessities and emergencies. Mm-hmm. How, how do you? Uh, it's real hard to come back from that. Yeah. I just how do you keep up the act? How do you keep that facade up at all times? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just confirmed that my 22 male wife, 22 female, of nearly two years has been faking her seizures for the past one and a half years and using it as an excuse to avoid responsibilities. Just okay. to not do dishes. She's yeah, like, as, oh. Is it going to be menial tasks like dishes or is it going to be like going to weddings? To preface this, my wife and I both suffer from a few diagnosed mental illnesses, and even after this, I still love her. About a year and a half ago, my wife had a seizure that resulted in her collapsing on the floor unconscious with no response. Since then, she has had seizures with some level of regularity, especially when presented with any kind of difficulty or responsibility. When we need to have a uh, difficult talk, seizure. Need to go to work, seizure. Oh, wow. Need to help me clean the house? Seizure. Unable to have her way with pretty much anything, and you guessed it, a seizure. Doctors diagnosed her with psychogenic, non-epileptic seizures that were triggered with stressful situations. Okay. So I did my best to do everything to support her during these episodes. Here's what sucks. Here's what sucks is because, like, so far... it doesn't seem like it's implausible that this is happening. Right. Right. More, every every situation you've said it has been a stressful situation for people. Yeah. So as opposed to like a physical stimulus triggering it, it's a psycho like somatic yeah. response. Mm-hmm. Which I yeah, okay. And I, I also feel like how do you know the like I mean, I guess you did the finger thing, but it's like how do you know if the first one was fake? And maybe the first one was real and she's like, Hold up. That's what my first thought too was like It's like a kid discovering that he puked in class and now he gets to go home early and it's like, hang on, I can make myself puke every day. (laughs) Um, I did my best to do everything to support her during these episodes. I became so stressed about her hurting herself by having a seizure while working and working a very high stress job that I had a full mental breakdown and got admitted to the hospital because of it. Jeez. Since then, I've been trying to get to be the best caregiver possible and support her fully set and support her fully sacrificing my health to ensure her safety and happiness. I believe that I have known for some time that something was off about her seizures. <sighs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> From leaning over hey, or the kicking? Being pregnant. From talking. <laughs> I'm struggling today, you guys. Hey, is this a psychosomatic <laughs> thing? You don't want to go to work, Erica? <laughs> oh, frick. We, I, I can't read today. We pull the pod every other week, but you can't now? <laughs> She would seemingly come out of them if I made her laugh or smile, but I wanted to trust her (laughs) and believe her no matter what. (laughs) She can't fucking... She keeps breaking character. Oh, my God. I'm (laughs) a real Jimmy Fallon, all right? I mean, I'm not by by far not an expert in in seizures. Like, maybe that is an actual thing, but of, like, if you can distract somebody. But that's so fucking funny. Just Jimmy Fallon rolling around. Tonight, I finally asked her about why she faked a seizure she had, and she admitted that they were all fake. Oh, no. I appreciate her coming clean, but holy shit, am I angry. Yeah. All that effort, love, care, patience for nothing. I still love her and want to be with her, I guess. I just wanted options. I know, bad idea on the internet. Just wanted options. Oh, sorry. Not options. Jesus Christ. Opinions. Opinions. Uh, and just to vent. Any advice would be appreciated. Divorce. I'm sure all of the comments on there are divorce. <laughs> that's, but uh, man, that is brutal. That's a rough one. That is, that's worse than like, I've been faking my orgasms for two years. Yes. Well, that you yeah. can work around with I'm, just more communication. I mean, it's bad. It's, it's so sad that he, he himself had so much like mental anguish yeah. from this that he had to yeah. get committed for a time being. It's like, he clear look how much he cared about you that he was willing to like do everything for you and it's like oh that's that's really rough could you imagine like a year and a half of like a living hell and then just like oh i was just goofing about that especially if that's like (laughs) i just really hate dishes 
especially if that's like the beginning of your marriage that's like yeah. that's how you're gonna start your marriage as a lie yeah and unnecessary stress added to your spouse this is why i always say don't get married when you're fucking 20 yeah um a little update i apparently neglected to mention that we are both an in individual and in couples therapy uh, since before i found this out that's my bad for forgetting that sorry for everyone telling us to seek therapy still appreciate the advice <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. I wonder if the therapist knew. You know what I mean? Oh, From like yeah. the individual sessions. Yeah, I don't know. Imagine like hearing that bombshell and just going into the couples therapy and just, uh, Jerry, what do you think is holding back the relationship? Is it the seizures? <laughs> just like super leading <laughs> I was questions. Say, like, <laughs> just really heavily dropping hints. How would you feel if Emily was lying to you for two years? <laughs> that would be upsetting. <laughs> Shaken to your core, you might say. <laughs> It's so it's that's so difficult because I agree. It's like the gut instinct is like you should probably just get divorced. This is like really destructive behavior for a I, relationship. But also, it's like you clearly care about this person deeply. Yeah, that you're willing to put up with that. So it's like ooh. I don't know, man. I, it would be pretty fucking hard to come back from this for me. Yeah, like I get. What, what if they're really hot? They're a 10, but they suffer from seizures that fake are seizures. fake. <laughs> I'm saying nine and three quarters still. Wow. Honestly, Christian, I'm glad you have the, this platform to say that. Can I say that? I feel brave in this instance. Can I say that? Uh, is that a Harry Potter reference? Or... No, I just feel brave <laughs> coming forward with how it's, I feel. Okay, It is platform nine and three quarters, correct? Five and three quarters. Five and three quarters? No, so. it's definitely a nine. It's definitely nine? three quarters. It's not five and three quarters. Five and three quarters. We're, we're, gonna, gonna, we're not talking I about your dick hey, size I can't here. believe we get... We're going to get fucking roasted. <laughs> hey, con, hey, listeners, and leave by, it in the comments. And by a five, you mean a rolled up $5 bill on the three quarters <laughs> or his thrice testicles. <laughs> yeah. Don't talk about me like that, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You ready for the next one? I would love to hear it. All right. Is it another banger like that one? Yeah. I wish there was a little more details of like how hand up the seizures were. Were they believable seizures or were they like... I was I was going to say that earlier and I forgot. Like, you know when you have a, an uh, illness or an ailment or something that people can't see so it's hard for people to relate? Mm -hmm. It's It's so different. Like, I couldn't imagine like seeing somebody having a seizure because like you... You can say you don't have a fucking headache. Go yeah. back to work, right? Go, or shut the fuck up. Go do the dishes. They're yeah. seizing on the floor, and like even if it looks fake, you can't be like, mm. "Come on, that was fake." That's a little you, fake, right? You fake that. <laughs> you can't, You're smiling right now. You're smiling. <laughs> You're smiling. <laughs> you can't call out a seizure. <laughs> I can. A, uh, somebody can call out like you don't have a fucking headache. Shut up. Yeah. You can't call out a fucking seizure. That's Just pretty... because you could call out a headache doesn't mean you should. No, but well, like Josh is a real piece of shit like that. I can tell when people are lying. All right, so this next story That shirt looks good on you. Continue. Uh is from Katie on Instagram. She said to use her username, but when I screenshot the conversation, it didn't include her username. You I'm so sorry, Katie. Idiot. Katie, you fucking idiot. It's all your fault. I won't use your last name. How about that? Because I, I don't remember what her username is. Anyway, um, she says, you can use my new username in the pod if you like the story, if you use the story. Hope you and Baby Kleckner are doing well. I'm struggling at the moment. He's being a little fucker. Oh, baby ATM. Kleckner is Christian. <laughs> oh, he's doing great. I'm struggling also. Oh, are you? It was no. a lie, I oh, can okay. tell. <laughs> okay. The shirt comment? Well, anyway. No, okay, never mind. No, the shirt looks really good on you. Okay, well, anyway, Katie sent this to me on Instagram, and this was a Reddit post that was shared on an, uh, a second subreddit, a website oh. called Next Shark, and Next Shark is a VPN. No, it, it is. It sounds like it could be a VPN. It is a like news share. It's like all about like Asian news. Okay. It's for like the Asian American community. Okay. Asian American specifically. I think so. Okay. I it could just be, I mean it's all things that have happened in America. Okay. From the brief, like look through the website that I did. Gotcha. So they 
took the story from Reddit, posted on their website, posted screenshots of the story on Instagram. This girl screenshot it, sent to me. <laughs> I screenshot it. And now I'm reading it to y'all. So okay. really, we should call her Screenshark. Yeah. What if screenshots worked like the game of telephone and the information changed just a little <laughs> bit? That'd be insane. <laughs> Technology is almost there. All right. So, oh, hold up. I almost read you a totally wrong story. That would have been embarrassing. Because it was my diary entry. I didn't screenshot it. I saved it and read it. Huge brain on Richard. Oh my goodness. All right. This was posted four days ago. Fresh. <clears throat> Am I the asshole for reporting my daughter's teacher to the principal? Fair enough. Sometimes we need to do that. My daughter is six and is in grade two, but has only been remote until a few months ago, so she hasn't physically been in school for long. Recently, she told me she didn't want her packed lunches anymore and wanted to eat what the other kids were eating. She had not been wanting to eat what were her favorite foods and opted for asking for more stuff like pizza. Okay, Classic. Yeah, that seems like a normal thing to happen. I asked her why she didn't want to eat her favorite foods anymore, and she told me she wanted to be able to sit with the other students. I was shocked because I didn't know she wasn't sitting with the other students. And then she told me it was because her teacher made her sit in the other room by herself during lunch because she brought smelly foods. Oh, I really thought this was going like hot lunch, cold lunch type. Oh, really? Like, you know, like, didn't we have that in our schools? Like where the cold lunch kids all went to like one table because they brought their cold lunch was just that they brought their lunch. Am I just, did they just (laughs) shun me? Yeah, well, I think I currently think... during the pandemic, a lot of public schools in America have been not doing provided lunches mm. or the lunches that they do provide are bagged that you eat in your classroom with your classmates. Gotcha. Is that, that because sense. a main ingredient in a lot of school lunches is lunch lady coughing into it? Or... Yes. <laughs> no. It's um, actually now it's actually because of, you know, big sugar. It's lunch lady <laughs> coughing into a dose. Uh, I, that's insane. I mean, I they don't really go into detail about what, yeah, the situation is, but th- I'm just, assuming it's because of COVID. There's just so many ways you could you could do that and frame it as it not being a shitty thing. Like you could be like, you know, that's from your house. We don't know the allergy information with it, so it's over there. I don't know. I think you just let them eat the food that is quote unquote smelly and just have the other kids get fucking used to it. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck, because this is on an Asian American website, too. Yeah. So it mm-hmm. could just be straight up racist. Correct. Kinda. And probably That's what is. It feels like. Right. <laughs> to be clear, growing up, I was also targeted by teachers who wouldn't let me bring shrimp or anything with garlic or onion because they hated the smell. So I try not to pack anything that could cause them to target my child, like spam sushi or egg fried rice. Does I- spam even smell? Yeah. Really? Look at it. No, spam looks like it would smell like any other deli meat. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I was really upset because she's half Chinese, but she clearly looks Asian, and I felt it was my childhood trauma happening on her. Hmm. I called up her homeroom teacher for a meeting, and the teacher said they didn't make her sit in the other room to eat, but my daughter told me to ask her best friend, who confirmed for me that, yes, she had been. Another teacher confirmed uh, she had seen her eating alone, and her homeroom teacher switched stories that she had said... But it was because my daughter brought a persimmon to school and it was distracting the other kids because they thought she was eating a tomato and she didn't want her distracting the other students by having foreign food. Bro, this, just teach them what I, I was going to say. This feels like a very good teaching moment. My right? life would be improved because I currently, if somebody next to me in second grade ate a persimmon, my life, because I don't know what the fuck a persimmon is. Well, that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> they thought that she was eating a tomato. It okay. Ca- it kind of looks like an orange, or like an orangey yellow tomato. So, so what if it was an orangey yellow tomato? What does I, what fucking difference does that make? People eat tomatoes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like, if they if the kids assume that it's a tomato, why does that make it weird? Yeah. I'm sure the teacher's defense is like, "Oh, sh- I don't want her to get bullied." But it's like she's the, you one, are the one targeting her. I also love the teachers. Like, who are you gonna believe? That little snot nosed brat or me, <laughs> the authority figure? And this then has to insane. change their story two more times. Yeah. I know, like, I I always say, like, 
Like I, I've said on the podcast before, like don't bring fucking seafood to the office because it stinks. And I think we got a comment or two, like you know, a lot of Asian people eat seafood. And it's like that's fucking different. Like you know what I mean? It's one thing to just bring in a stinky, stinky food that like is a three day old shitty salmon. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm trying. What I'm trying to say is like you shouldn't fucking racially profile because of the food they're bringing in. Correct. I am fine with. I mean, I like seafood, so it doesn't bother me. I mean, if somebody brings mac and cheese into the office, which I fucking hate, but I'm the, you know, I'm the minority in that that thought process. Yeah. I don't say anything to anyone because it's not yeah. my fucking food. I mean, I would never call somebody out for bringing in uh, a food that. I mean, yeah. I'm just very anti uh, talking to people at work in that regard. So okay. I absolutely call out the people that burn popcorn in the microwave. Yeah, well, that's at pretty work. bad. Like, no, that's to cover fuck? up other things. I just learned. I just learned from a different podcast hosted by Danny Brown, the rapper, that his go-to trick is to burn popcorn in hotel rooms so he can smoke weed in the hotel rooms and not get. Did fees. you just learn that? Yeah, I just saw that's it. On what everybody at my college did. Yeah, you burn popcorn so that you can't smell the weed. Yeah, huh. I and that's what it. that's what people are doing at work. Also, she complained about onions and garlic, the two best smelling say, food ingredients. Right? <laughs> Especially when they're cooked together. It, it smells so good. It literally is that meme of like white people colonized all these places just to steal their spices and be like, nope, and not, not use using them. them. No garlic, no onion. <laughs> all right. So then she says she refused to believe it was inappropriate and said she didn't see anything wrong with sending her to eat by herself. I had to go to the principal and take my daughter to another homeroom to finish up the school year because that teacher said it only happened once. Despite my daughter swearing up and down, it happened every few days for weeks before she told me. That's crazy. She told me specifically of a time she brought tomato egg stir fry and a boy bullying her because it looked like blood and the teacher sending her to eat in the other room rather than telling him to stop. My husband doesn't believe her saying the teachers would have said something before sending her to eat by herself, but I don't think he understands because he's white. That's very, very possible. Yeah. Even... No matter what this kid was eating, the fact that the teacher doesn't see an issue with making her eat by herself and segregating her from the rest of the classroom is a huge issue. Yeah. 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 I don't know how you can be like, no, this is a completely fine and normal thing. And I also don't understand how you can see one kid picking on another kid and then separate the victim. Yeah. Instead of correcting the the shitty kid's behavior. Oh, but yeah. the fried rice kind of looked like blood. It was icky. Then don't fucking look at it. <laughs> Fuck this teacher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, how how easy? I mean, listen, I know teachers are overworked and underpaid. Absolutely. I know this is going to take a lot of courage for me, but we're paying teachers too much, I think. <laughs> Honestly, work more hours. You get no. the summers off? Fuck that shit. <laughs> no. Uh, Disagree. Uh, You've got two sister-in-laws that are teachers, you yeah. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what's up <laughs> uh how, how easy would it be like if the teacher here knows sees a pattern of of this one student getting bullied or whatever because of the, her culinary or her parents culinary choices for her have like a fucking potluck day with all the parents oh like, that's not allowed i'm not even saying that because of like health department rules i'm saying that school oh because of school stuff schools will not allow they don't even let you bring in like Mm. like ma um homemade cookies or anything anymore because there's so many kids with allergies. like peanut allergies okay well fuck me i guess but it was a it was a good idea though but like i mean it's like 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 with the, her eating the the fruit or vegetable i don't know what it is the, the po persimmon. pomegranate yeah uh like it would be so nice to be able to like use that as a really nice jumping off point and because like to learning about yeah. food and other cultures, which is a huge thing for, yeah. for different cultures. Do you know how much better my life would be if I discovered chimchurri sauce yeah. before I was in college? <clears throat> well, yeah. I that's know that I've had that. It's, it's the spicy green stuff at, at uh, uh, Naf Naf. Oh, it's mm, really I good. I put in the falafel. It's, it's very good. <laughs> but also, like, think of how many like kids are picky eaters, but it's mostly because it's their parents saying, like, try yeah. this or make forcing them to eat it. If you see a friend eating something new, you're like, well, I'll try it. And then it's like, yeah, now you're experiencing new flavors that my little shithead would have never tried. Yeah. I would be like, that's not French fry. <laughs> yeah. But if my friend was trying, I'd be like, 
I guess I'll try it. I I think that's a big thing for parenting too. Like introducing your child to a variety of different foods with different flavors, with different spice levels is important to not only, you know, culturally educate them, but um, nutritionally. Yeah. They're getting a a wider variety of exposures to foods you know, to build up a tolerance to spice to, mm-hmm. you know, potentially find yeah. out if they're allergic to something, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Sure. And so. that's why our kid's going to be eating all sorts of fries. We're going to do regular fries. Waffle fries. Shoelace fries, waffle fries, curly fries. Mm-hmm. We'll even change kind of the spice level on the curly fries. I kind of like a spicier, whatever yeah. the seasoning is on curly Old fries. Day. I fucking love that shit. Yeah. Interesting. My personal Steak. favorite, crinkle cut. Crinkle cut, great. But do you guys, Christian, are you a sweet potato fry enjoyer? <sighs> With ketchup, I like it. I don't like them plain. Man, I could, f- I could die in a mound of sweet potato fries. Plain. I also feel like they have to be cooked just right. I feel like sometimes you get a dog shit sweet potato fry, and it makes me go like reconsider every time I've thought, like, that's okay. Yeah, but you also get that for normal fries. No, no. Unfortunately, there's enough chemicals going on in normal <laughs> fries to where I'm like... The only time I've ever had like good. bad sweet potato fries was when they're undercooked. And for me, it's also bad when it's a normal potato. I'm having flashbacks to my sweet potato incident at Thanksgiving. But you liked that. But you liked it. But I was betrayed. If you were exposed to sweet potatoes when you were a kid in class, then things would be better. Yeah. Potentially. And how about we expose all of our listeners to these ads, you little fucking freaks? Don't say that about our listeners. Yeah, freaky little people who are going to go support our ads, our sponsors. Bye. Bye. And hey, welcome, welcome back, back to to this side of the Hello, pod. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to this side of the podcast, the only side of the podcast where we do the rest of it. <laughs> and that was just a break, an ad break. Thanks for watching. Hey, hit that dang old thing. Circle jerk. You know what's big on TikTok at the moment? There, There's so many things. They're a blank butt videos. Ah. And you know what's not going to be big on TikTok by the time this episode comes out? <laughs> that. But we already kind of do it on the front we, half. We already threw one in. You sprinkled one in already. So Joshy Boy went and did a little thing where I wrote a few judges themed they're a blanks. Okay. okay. Does that sound fun? Yeah. I would enjoy this. I mean, I'll let you know. They're a nine, but they use poop gloves. Oh, shit. Three. Wow. Three? Erica? I got I gotta go with like a four. I'm going like a seven. I feel like I've betrayed my morals on that. Can how about Okay, you can get to me. I felt like it was a, a sh- I was shooting from the hips and but I don't think I would be that offended by a poop gloves. So, so who is it. a nine in your head? Celebrity that people know. Oh frick. Oh. I feel like a nine is like a Paul Rudd. Yeah? Okay. Or like uh Scarlett Johansson. Okay. Or like a Zendaya. No, she all, might be a 10. She's a 10. But just so you're, these are the re- echelon of people. And then they use poop clubs and you're like, nope, three. <laughs> like, that's insane to me. I Here's a little caveat, I think. Um, I, I think if a, a celebrity, like, you know, there's a, after a certain point, it breaks and it's a different tier of hotness. Sure. It's yeah. no longer normal hot. You're like celebrity hot. Okay. I think that would bump them back down to normal hot for me. So, like, Zendaya does it. She's still a 10, but now she's just a normal person 10 okay. instead of a celebrity 10. There is Zendaya, but they are Michi. I knew that was coming. Okay, so 3-3, three, three, I'd say, like, a 7. It's not that gross to me. I could get over it. If it's in the, if it's in the dedicated poop bathroom on a high shelf, I could look up past it. There are 6, but when strangers hit on them, they bark at them. 10. 10 that's insane i love it your system's already broken i love it you're turning a paul rudd into a beyonce not a paul rudd uh paul blart and a kevin james into a beyonce you give him a six he's a very attractive man he's yeah kevin james he's a celebrity six which makes him like yeah a regular person like fucking seven or eight it's weird i would say barks at people Barks at strangers that are trying to hit on them. Since they're a six, it's probably not happening a ton. So I think it might stay at a six. 
I think staying at a six is fair. It definitely bumps up the score for me because I think that's funny. <laughs> what kind of bark do you think I, it would be? I feel like it would get old. I think it's the bark that you do. The <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's your bark? I, I, Perform it, your bark, man. <laughs> Perform your bark. <laughs> <laughs> I was. That's pretty good. Pretty you stomp your foot. That's true. Mm-hmm. Welcome back to CBS's brand new hit show, Perform Your Bark. Erica, perform your bark. Bow. Wow. Bow, bow. <laughs> Are you a dog from like France? What? Bow, bow. <laughs> chica, chica. I was trying to channel like one of the dog sequences from uh, that episode of Dexter's Lab mm-hmm. where Mojo Jojo turns everybody in the world to, into a dog. They do. Dexter's Isn't that Lab the or Powerpuff that Girls? Oh, fuck. That's Powerpuff Girls. I'm oh, sorry. So now I know what you're talking about. Okay, yes. That is a good episode. Mine is a lot sorry, more of a... You would be an ankle you. biter. Yeah. yeah. That's short king vibes. <laughs> That's not an ankle that. biter. <laughs> I, don't even think, I don't even think it's short king vibes. That was a big scary dog. <laughs> no, it was not. It, that was little dog energy that thought that they could pull off big dog energy. Judah always gives them a... <laughs> That's he always does very too. Accurate. He always does too. They're a ten, but they can't read. <laughs> what is it, Erica? <laughs> what is it? It doesn't change that for me. If they no no, this isn't completely not a dig at Christian. Like literally, cannot read, cannot do math. Completely illiterate. I can't fucking do math. No no, this is like literally can't do it. This is like you give them a calculator and they think it's a... So we're talking like George of the Jungle. Sure. Yeah. He's still fucking hot. Yeah. yeah. But Brent, watch hey, out for, listen. Hey, watch out for that <laughs> tree. <laughs> watch out for that tree. Very fair. Uh, I would say if they just can't read, it's like a one. Like, I think that's a no. Yeah, I feel like it'd be a is this for, Hang on. Is this relation... This is relationship, yeah? Like, it's not just fucking. Because if it was fucking, it would just be 10 all the time. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> So this is like yeah. there are an- six, but we're fucking, so there are ten. <laughs> well, am I wrong? <laughs> there are three, but they drive that fucking car. Hundred. I'm gonna go with a two. Yeah, pretty hard to go lower. They're an eight, but they change in front of their roommate, even though they know it makes them uncomfortable. Zero. Ooh, yeah, that's very low. That's very low, right? That's very yeah. very low. Mm-mm. You're doing some non-consensual shit. Yeah, it's bad. Not about it. They're a 10, but they're currently pregnant. 10. I feel like you hesitated. (laughs) I also feel like that was directed at me. The reading one was Christian. I called you a 10. What is is there to be mad about? (laughs) He only called you a 9. He's pitting us against each other. He is. I I called him a 10. I would give myself a 9, though. There's room for improvement is all I'm saying. No, there's not. There well, is. what's the answer? 10, but they're currently pregnant? 10. 20, because there's time to sue. <laughs> that baby. <laughs> Damn, babe, are you hot for two or are you just pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> they're a seven, but they unironically drink pilk at least once a week. E- that's pretty rough now i didn't do once a day because that's insane but once a week they just glurp down a little they come home they've had a rough week yeah take the edge off with a nice cold glass of pilk okay but like are they shoving it down your throat that hey i'm drinking a glass of pilk you no, should drink but, one too no but you know that you see them making the pilk every time listen as long as it has nothing to do with me it doesn't change how i feel i think it bumps them up to an eight really well, of i course think it bumps you do. Them, just because like bumps them down one so that's you're six. going six and you're going seven and I'm going eight. I think like to be so bold and brave and to, to do that brazen, you know, yeah. like it sort of speaks to the character on a deeper level it to go against the grain. Yeah. They're kind of a bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> they're a 10, but they've never made a bad joke ever. Why would that mm. change anything? I agree. So we all agree. I'm a 10. I mean, they're a 10. They're a five, but they perf- help perform and produce an extravagant. An <clears throat> I'm just going to retake it. Okay. They're a five, but they help perform and produce an extravagant plan to help their best friend sell ketchup. Okay. I love a good friend. That makes them very hot. <laughs> I would agree with that. <laughs> that makes them very sexy. They are incredibly Brendan Fraser esque. It's giving 
Brendan Fraser. It absolutely is. It's giving Idris Elba. A little bit. It's not giving. I just, it's just not giving ugly. Idris because like, he's, he's not a five and by any means. Neither is Brendan Fraser. No, I'm saying they're giving 10 energy by oh, being a good are, friend. Oh. They are giving 10 energy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't say it puts them all the way up to a ten. Oh, I think if you're a if you're a really good friend like that, I might be a little worried that may, hey, maybe you're more of a friend to them than you are a partner to me. Hmm. So maybe like a seven. Okay, like Ron Offerman. Yeah. Nick Offerman. Nick Offerman. Sorry, not plays Ron. Sorry. Yep. I would say a four makes it worse for you. Yeah. Hey. They're a 10, but they have all of their exes' pictures still on their Instagram. Oh, God. They're a 10, you said? Yeah. I think that would lower it for me. Wow. I, I would have to go with probably a 6. Is it a, is it a weird way? I guess... I guess if they're just like still in the feed. I guess it's... To me, I'm lazy on social media, so it's like... I probably wouldn't go back to delete it. If we broke up for, you know, one of us dies or whatever. You um, just have to make a new account. I would literally, there's no way I could delete 13 years of, hmm. of Why wouldn't you just you. leave it up? That's what I'm saying. It's like, as long as it's not even worth. Like, what's effort. bad about leaving it up? I think it would be, I think it would change the situation more if it was like all their ex's photos are still on their phone. Like, if it was just in their camera roll of, like, them on a date still, hmm. that would change it a lot more than just on Instagram. Interesting. I could see that. But I, th I feel like it could potentially be insensitive to your new partner if you ever get one. I mean, I don't see it that way is all I'm saying. So there's still a 10 to me, baby. I think it only knocks it down maybe a one or maybe a half point. Not enough. It's a big deal to me because I'm a jealous bitch, Okay. There we said it. They're a 10, but they're a jealous bitch. Oh. <laughs> Brings it down to like a four, probably. Um, in my eyes, you're a 10, baby. Uh, did you just confirm that she's a jealous bitch? What? They're a 9.5, but they don't listen to the judges. Zero. 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 <laughs> Undateable. Get them out of here. And that's Goodbye. It. That's <laughs> disgusting. That's all I prepared. I even improv some. Could you really? tell which ones they were? No. Good. I feel like yes, but now that uh, you've asked me, I can't like tell you which ones. He's a regular person to seven, but he improved a couple of the ratings on the circle. Hey, change. man, I called you both tens, fucker. I'm being realistic. I was talking. <laughs> also called yourself a ten, so. He didn't. I'm realistic. I think you're a ten. I think you're lying to me. There's room for improvement. Hey. J there isn't. Listeners, don't comment on our appearances. That would be fucking weird. Uh, listener submitted story. You ready, Erica? Oh, yes. That's right. We do listener submitted stories on this podcast. So if you guys have that, send it over to judgespot.gmail.com or on our Instagram DMs. You can also send in a sound that we will play. And this sound is from someone who goes by the little old name of Laura. And they say, I make bird noises. And this is my imitation of a parrot. Now, can I just say parrots talk like humans? So if this is just you talking, because I did not listen to this beforehand, I'm going to be pissed. That'd be really funny. Oh! Judgy's pod. Oh! I hated that. It was pretty good, though. That was very good. Hey, good job, Laura. I you, hated that. You made me eat my own words immediately. You really made him eat crow. Hey, man. Parrot in this case. I feel like somebody could probably take that sound clip and put it into like a parody of something. Does that make sense? Yes, a parody. What? Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize I made that joke, man. Wait, Holy really? shit. I'm so just, I'm so un... Whoa, that just totally so bumps you like, up to a 10. I don't even have to try to be funny. I just literally only make good jokes. That's great. Uh, oh. Yeah. And I'm humble about it. I didn't it. even realize that that one was about you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah. You are kind of hot. Hey, man, how about you stop sucking my car? How about that? <laughs> I'm gonna. Judge you spot. Do macaws also talk? I have no idea, man. 
I just macaws are kind of like parrots, and that's the only bird pun I had in my head. You guys, Sorry. I lost my listener submission. This like, is absolutely fun. Hey, we'll just riff over here. It's not like this podcast has like dove into a bad spot. We're gonna go dove. into a little bird talk over here. Christian, favorite bird? Favorite bird, owls. Owls are pretty cool. What kind? Do you like crested owls, barn owls? Horned owls are very Horned owls? Neat. Yeah, they look cool. But a lot of owls really are cool. Owls. I haven't seen a bad owl. Like, sometimes True. you'll see a bat, and you're like, that's cool. And then you'll see other bats, and you're like, yeah, kill ew, it. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's, well, that's the, what's your favorite bird, I guess? Um, You know, I honestly really enjoy peacocks, unironically. Peacock's I think peacocks cool. are pretty sweet. They're, they're one of those animals where it's like, what the fuck went on here? <laughs> He was like, evolution! Uh, are you drunk? <laughs> 12 foot long feathers on their butt? What? And only the males? I knew that. <laughs> I was I was just hamming it up for the hey, hey, I was just hamming it up for the podcast. They're a hard four, but they know a little bit about a lot of things. <laughs> what do we think? A real four or a celebrity four? Guys, I'm struggling to find it. They're a judgy four. Yuck. That's bad. <laughs> You're an Ohio two, but a judgy four. I'm an Ohio two. Yeah. In Ohio, the scale's backwards. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. Josh, I don't know if you're a narcissist like me. Do you do this when you go into a new city and you go, Hey, man, I host a podcast. What? I've never been to a new city and I'm a narcissist. But do you ever like go through a city and you go, I'm hotter than the average person here? Do you rate yourself when you go through cities? I do that in old cities. Every city I'm in constantly. I'm clocking all the uggos, yeah. Yeah. So what do you think you are, like, attractiveness-wise? I also do it in the airport a lot. I go, oh, no, I'm pretty ugly for this airport. <laughs> and then you go into, like, a small airport, and you're like, yeah. I'm kind of fucking... St-. Yeah. Well, I was kind of humbled, because I went to Naperville for college, and you went to Southern Illinois. <laughs> yeah. So you could, you were probably the fucking bell of the ball in Southern. Yeah, I had a tweet about it. And I was around people who were born and caught and their parents sneezed and just dropped a milli yeah, on the floor that makes sense well because i just i remember going to boston for work one time and walking around and going like i'm like a fucking seven in boston what the fuck is going on here <laughs> i'm a massachusetts eight all right this isn't the one i originally intended to read but i can't find that one and i'm sad about it because there was two and they were good but don't worry the shit we did just it's better than whatever stories you were gonna read when you go through the city, Erica, do you rate yourself and go, mm, I'm quite a bit hotter than the rest of the people here? No, I don't think very highly of myself at all. So. I don't think very highly of myself, and I still go, I can't believe I got an extra point in this town. The craziest thing is when you're in a Walmart and you see a hot person, and you're like, you're not allowed to shop here. I'm supposed to be the hottest person in yeah. Walmart. <laughs> all right. This was sent on Instagram from Farm and Carlin. Love that for you. Uh, hi, Judges. Hello. I have juicy family gossip, and I am still listening to your new episode while I type this. But my absent father gradually stole forty thousand dollars from his father's estate. Oof. A little background: Dad used to be a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> How can this guy be worse? Oh, he's a cop. <laughs> and then she, ha- uh, they have in parentheses a cab. Hey, good uh, for you. Lived in a warehouse where he stored the things he sold on eBay. Very hoarder esque. Cheated on my mom, and then on his fiance, fiance afterwards, and is just in general an unlikable guy. Hmm. Sounds like a perfect police officer, if you ask me. Did you know that forty percent of police officers are hoarders? Yeah, Google it. Forty yeah. percent of police. Google that. Uh, one of my aunts was going through the finances of the estate and figuring out how much money to give all of the siblings. And found an issue with the amount of money my father had already taken from his portion. His own family sued him for that forty thousand, and when he showed up to court, he was representing himself. <laughs> Anyways, he's currently on the run from his family and debt collectors, and as far as I know, living in Thailand with his new girlfriend. What <clears throat> debt collect? Debt collectors keep calling me and my mom because our phone numbers are still connected to his, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much the whole story. Love you guys. What? Modern day debt collectors aren't scary, right? Like, what's the downsides if you're like, you already stole all the money and like, aren't going to pay it back of you just like not answering the phone call? 
I don't know. It's just well, a fucked credit score, but like you're clearly not relying on that anyway. Well, I don't know if you just saw um, some new discussions coming out from the Supreme Court, but they're actually rolling back protective laws from debt collectors, <laughs> so they can actually hire some muscle. Right now, it's looking like they can kill your pets, so I don't know. It's pretty wild here. <laughs> That's a pretty big jump. I guess I guess they probably settled that out of uh, Brown v. Uh, Snuggles. <laughs> yes. Love that. What's going on at the Supreme Court? Erica, get us into another story before I start I going got another on this story. tirade. <laughs> Can we just say it's okay to fucking protest outside of the Supreme Court's house? Yeah. Yes. It's fucking bullshit. Agreed. Fuck the Supreme Court. That's not going to be in the news I'm when just, this comes out, but that's okay. No, here's, it's going to still be in the news. Because how have I only heard like a single thing come from the Supreme Court over the last like 20 fucking years? And then the last two months, it's like eight fucking things. You're like, I think we're just going to stop that. Hey, silver protections, I'm just going to stop that. We don't give a shit about our citizens. Okay, anyway, here's another story. This is from probably also screenshot and sent to me on Instagram because I'm fucking lazy. Okay. Um, I'm just it just got the plug. Going to read it on. But they send them directly to you now? Um, Sometimes, not always. Gotcha. All right. This one is from r slash relationship underscore advice. Title is this girl, 18 female, keeps spraying my 19 female boyfriend, 19 male, with cologne, and he doesn't know. Oh, weird. I thought that was a sentence fragment. How are you not aware of being spritzed? I can't stop thinking about this. I don't know if it's in my head and if I should even care. Anyways, my boyfriend, we've been together for several months, lives pretty isolated from me. We still make time to see each other. Whenever we do, I notice he smells really good. So I asked what he uses, and he said nothing. I was like, mm, okay. Weird, because he smells like really good cologne. But I know he's very fr- I know he's very frugal, and cologne is expensive. Yeah, that's why I don't get the stuff. It's very expensive. It goes right through you. You drink it, and you piss it all out. Well, it's mostly alcohol, so yeah. I visited him last week, and as he rounded the usual corner to where we meet, I saw, for real, a pair of hands behind him and a spritz, like a cloud of perfume. He kept walking like normal. I asked him if someone was behind him, and he said, no. Wait, I'm I'm sorry. I missed something. They're FaceTiming or they're in person? No, this was in person. How did you see a pair of hands just appear? Where were they at? He rounded a corner. Huh? What? A corner and where? In a store? I don't know. Is this the like corner? Is this like fucking that Jim Carrey movie that I always forget the title to? Like, how are you just like getting sneak cologned? I don't the know. Truman Show. Yes, thank you. Uh, <laughs> he then started smelling really good, like he usually does. <laughs> it's so weird. I visited him again a couple of days ago. I see him walking out from his his center's park. Um. Again, a spritz, but from behind a tree. What, what is going on <laughs> here? If cologne assassins. I thought I was losing my mind. I went to the tree, absolutely terrified, when he didn't believe me, and I didn't find anyone, but I smelled that goddamn no. cologne. Anyways, I thought I was just going insane, so we go out to eat a bit outside of his town, and he runs into this girl there. I don't know, I guess around our age, and he and she acted really shy. They know each other from his town. But guess what she smells like? The cologne. Oh. It's not no. your mother's petunias. Oh. Does I, do petunias smell different than each other? How would I know my mother's petunia smell? I acted Stupid like I question. had <laughs> I acted like I had to vomit and got us out of there. Great, great I started seizing. I started seizing on the floor. <laughs> I asked my boyfriend about her, and he said that she's sort of a friend um, going back to the same town, their school, whatever. Uh, he didn't seem confused or surprised at all. But this girl seemed shady. I swear when I turned around, I heard a spritzing noise. No fucking way. My theory is, for some reason, she is spritzing my boyfriend with cologne. Either he knows or doesn't believe me. I told him this, but he. I told him this, but he keeps brushing it off like I'm crazy. I said I'm sorry, but I have to go, and we haven't talked since. I think he doesn't know, but he won't even entertain the idea. 
He's from a su- super small, tight knit town, and I'm not a part of it at all. So I, I don't know how to ask. Maybe someone he knows. Are there any girls out there who spray random men with cologne? No. All right, we've got a few edits and some updates. Can well, we talk for yeah, a second first? Deliberate. No. Fair enough. Go ahead. <laughs> How do you not feel insane to see a pair of hands appear from a tree like the happening style? Yeah, like like, I can only imagine like literally walking indoors and coming out other doors like Scooby Doo. And how how do how do they disappear? You are in a park and you're like, I rounded the tree and no one was there. How how do they do? They have a tunnel system. Do you? Is there any secret tunnel? (laughs) Is there any chance like this? lady is like I don't know, has some kind of genie's curse on her to where she kind of has to follow him around and make sure he smells good interesting hmm. maybe like a generational like uh almost like a butler like her her entire family is just kind of like that's what their role is, is, is to this make sure this guy unknowingly smells well yeah what an insane how i just don't understand how you don't notice that like, how do you not, like, this, like... Well, when you use cologne enough time to kind of stop smelling it on yourself. I'm more worried about the audio part. Like, like she said, like, she turned around and she heard a spritz. Colognes aren't silent. Wireless headphones, Josh. Maybe he's deaf in one ear. What's that? From all the cologne getting sprayed in there. <laughs> it's just, it's deafening. It's so loud. All right. Edit. I don't know if it's too soon, but it's been bugging me for two whole days now. I think I'm going to write a letter explaining how hurt and confused I am and give it to him. I am also thinking of wearing a GoPro when I go in case I catch the girl. That's awesome. I, Do that. <laughs> Do I, that. All I can think of is the train guy on TikTok that does the GoPro and it gives him like <laughs> the stupid face, like the fish eyed face. Uh, so the most con- edit number two, the most common question I get is if my boyfriend's lying about not smelling it, but he does smell it. He just doesn't question why he smells so good. This dude, I just smell good normally. So if I'm, if I'm giving him the most benefit of the doubt, this dude is the dumbest person on the planet, but it's, he's clearly cheating on you. Right. I mean, it does feel that way. No, no person with one brain cell goes, that does smell like cologne. I do smell like cologne all the time. Not going to think about that ever again. Okay. I do still kind of think the theory that she's kind of, by some ho- higher power, forced to have to kind of follow him around <laughs> and make sure he smells good is still the most plausible. But I'm saying he's in on it. So then uh, she goes on to say, at first he said he didn't notice it, but then he's like, huh, yeah. So I both? guess I do smell good. Hmm. Maybe it, to me it's a strong scent, but it's actually really faint. One time I rubbed dryer sheets on my hair for this guy in middle school to like me. And when I asked if he noticed anything, he said no. But to me, it was so strong. Maybe I have a turbo nose. Anyways, I'm still worried. Okay. There are seven, but they have someone following them around, (laughs) spritzing them all the time. Depending on the cologne, it does bump them up or down. (laughs) If it's Dracar Noir, bumping them down. All right. So this is the last edit. I'm done picking my brain on this now, and we'll just confront him tomorrow. Thank you all. I'll update when I can. I'm going to take my mind off this mess with a lot of pasta. I think the prevailing theory is she is somehow marking her territory, or she's a witch. I am scared of witches, and he is too. So I don't know how to deal with that. I love aesthetic witches, but like real ones? I've seen Twilight. Anyways, (laughs) thanks. There's witches in Twilight? I don't know. I don't think so. Hey, you're going to be real thrilled to find out witches don't exist. (laughs) They're all aesthetic witches. (laughs) Insane. This, the whole, I want, I wish I could see the hands poking out, spraying somebody. Uh, Yeah. Such great imagery. I can only, I can only, like, I'm imagining portal. Yes. Like there's a portal in the tree and just the hands squeeze out and then they disappear again. I'm invested in this story. I am too. I hope they got the GoPro footage. He's cheating on her. There's no fucking way he's not. One of the comments says, she has a crush on your boyfriend and tries to make you go, oh my God, why do you smell like perfume? You're cheating on me. I'm breaking up with you. So that way he's free for her. No, I don't. I think that's too complicated. Why would, why would the shy girl like see them in public then? You know what I mean? 
Clearly because she was trying to spritz him with cologne and got caught and yeah. made it awkward. I don't know. I feel like I feel like there he's cheating on you with this person and uh this person doesn't understand the boundaries of being a cheaty. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean that's a possibility. No, that's what's happening. I think there's other possibilities of what could be happening. But it's, hey, man, it's I can't tell you enough times. It's they're not um, a butler. <laughs> I just I, I just think maybe we keep the options open. <laughs> uh, somebody said uh, this is like an episode of Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and then somebody said um, replied to it with the title "The Gang Creates a Stink," and then "Cologne" oh. by Frank's Fluids. <laughs> Now it would be the boiled. Denim. It would be the gang gets spritzed. That would be the title card. And how about we throw you the end title card by ending the episode? Okay. Does that make sense? We would love to do that. Hey, Erica. Yes, sir. We're gonna let Christian go first. Is that okay? I mean, he goes first every time. So. I'm an inconsiderate lover. Christian, where can <laughs> they find us on social media? Excuse Fuck. you. Hey, if you want to follow us on social media, you can do that using the tag, the handle Judgies Pod. That's J U D G I E S Pod on Twitter, on Twitch, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Patreon, on Prancer, on Dash. I was just thinking that. <laughs> Did I say TikTok? We're kind of big on TikTok. We never plug TikTok, do we? Is it on the list? I think so. Is it really? Let's look. No, nope. It's not. It should be. Yo, all my real ones go off of TikTok and watch us on other platforms that support us better. And Erica, For if they sure. want to send us an email, just give us the email real quick. That's Georgie Spotted. There was a very long delay. Yeah, because I was thinking of a sentence to hurt Josh's feelings like he's hurt mine. Uh, you can email us stories, listener submitted sounds, whatever you want at Judgies. The email is Judgies Pod, J U D G I S Pod at gmail.com. That's right. And hey, maybe one day we'll be Gmail at Judgies Pod.com. Joshua. Hey. You stressed me out, switching everything up, and I'm out of breath again. Sorry. Absolutely fucked to do that to a pregnant lady, Josh. Yeah, what the hell? Hey, but the judges love you. Hey, you got it, man. Let's go. We'll fix it in post. Yay. 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 <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Have a great week, everyone. Okay, love you. Bye. It's going to be fixed in post. It's oh, my, it's a Josh episode. episode. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got it this time. Complete silence for the for the room. Hey, you got it. We're just going to end the recording now.